So guys, I am back with another Dying Light 2 Bloody Ties DLC video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get the blueprint for the legendary weapon of the correct machete version 3, the artifact of machete. Now, since the start of the game guys, you guys know we search high and low for this thing, thinking it was somewhere in the game. Obviously it weren't, now they've added it with a DLC. But it comes with a twist. Now the weapon itself, as you're seeing on screen now, is extremely weak. Once you craft this thing, which takes infected trophies and scraps, it's super, super, super weak. With only a 40 durability. I don't know what's going on here. Whether it's a bug or not, I ain't sure. But either way, there could be something else to it. There could be a secret to it. We don't know yet. But either way, this is how you get the blueprint for the correct machete. So, it is a part of the DLC. So, unless you have the DLC, you cannot get this thing. So, if you don't have the DLC, guys, you ain't getting it. So, the Carnage Hall. You all know about this. The main focal point of this DLC. Now, you want to come to Cerverus. Now, we know he's the tournament plan dude uh, for this uh, Carnage Hall. Now, this is actually hidden within one of these. It's inside this one right here, One Day in Haran. Now, if you've already done this as part of the campaign, obviously right here, guys, you can't redo it. You can't go back into it. For some weird reason, it just doesn't tell you how you do that. Now, when you complete this for the first time, you will unlock the Carnage Hall poster. That's how you redo these things. So, if you've already done it um, and you can't select it there, you need to come this way. So there's your room right there. So out of your room, guys, come straight forward and go left. As you can see, these are the ones right here. We have the posters for the ones you've already completed. So if you've already done it with Cerberus, you need to come over here to get this thing. So load this up. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You basically have to open the box 80 times. <laughs> yep, let's skip this, let's skip this. Okay, so we need to get up there so to do this guys come this way come left and jump up here hey you know what after coming back to this game for so long i fit the parkour oh 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 no no leave me alone zombie it's it's just not the same as what i remember it just feels so much weirder i know i'm a noob but hey so jump up here then when i get up here just like so jump up here now we need to go across there like so one jump Two jump, and then guys, we need to break this bunny board. Now, as you can see, my container is open, but for you, this will be shut. Now, you need to open this, press that open button. I think it's 80 times. Now, you will be interrupted by zombies, so I need to stop and take them out when they attack you. But you should have more than enough time to do this. I completed it. I think I opened it with about a minute to go. Uh, but yes, once you do this, guys, and you press that button 80 times, you will get this correct machete blueprint. Then guys, pick it up and you can just cancel out this mission. It really is that simple. And there you have it guys. Get testing, get checking, see where the secrets are. Because for me, it definitely shouldn't be this week. I remember this weapon being absolutely OP back in the day, the original. So yes, maybe there's something more to it. Maybe it's bugged, we don't know. But there we have it guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.